Hi guys, it's Emily here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I'm doing something a little bit different because this is actually a speed renovation, which I have only ever done one other time on the channel so this is kind of exciting um but anyways so i thought it'd be a bit of fun to renovate some lots from ea so if you guys like seeing this kind of thing let me know and we can definitely turn it into a series because i have already started doing another one so i'm kind of into this right now so let me know if you guys like it too but um we are starting off with this build which is the blue velvet nightclub i turned it into the blue velvet lounge because i thought a lounge suited the build a little bit better especially when i was done with it and and even before then because there's the piano in there and there's the microphone and I think those are definitely more lounge items and I noticed as I was playtesting as a nightclub the pianists don't actually come and play the pianos you have to like hire them but if you have it as a lounge they come automatically so I think that's a little bit better for this type of build so that's what I did and another thing I didn't want to change the exterior too much I wanted to keep it I wanted to keep it pretty similar. I did make a few changes as you probably saw with the balcony and I changed the fence around a little bit and moved the fountain and things like that. But I wanted to keep it pretty much the original build. I wanted it to be recognizable. But um, I did make a lot of in like changes on the interior. I changed the bathrooms a lot. I completely moved where the bar was because the bar was originally in like the back hallway which I feel is kind of like a weird isolated area for the bar. I wanted it to be more in a central location of the building. So that's what I did. And I also wanted to kind of make the place a little bit more upscale. So I used some like marble flooring, which I think looks really pretty. I think it's actually marble. It's that black and white tile flooring. Is it, is it marble? I think it is. I'm not sure um but anyways and I added more windows because there was a lot of walls on the exterior that didn't have windows but I kept the original green color it's a bit quirky and I something I probably wouldn't do if they weren't already that color but I, I kind of wanted to keep that element to it so it still has the same brick it still has the green accents it's just definitely changed more on the interior because originally it had like these navy walls which is which is okay but it just looked a little bit bland and kind of cheap in my opinion and I wanted this place to look upscale so we go with these I think concrete walls and then we have those black and white checker floorings like I was talking about I'm gonna call them marble even though I'm not 100% sure if they are or not <laughs> and then I also add one of the street performing things outside oh and then upstairs originally the balcony area upstairs had nothing like I don't even think there was a place to sit down it was completely empty it was like whoever built this lot didn't even try I'm, I'm like not trying to be rude to the builder of the original lot but I it was just very empty and I never found this lot usable because of that it was it's, it's kind of a weird lot in my opinion but I wanted to make the place usable so I added um, some foosball tables upstairs I also added uh, some don't make the llama and some dart boards and tried to make the space more usable and more fun and I did have a lot of fun play testing this lot I think it's a much more usable lot and added some trees outside since it is a community lot I didn't want to do like flower beds or anything but I thought there should be some landscaping and originally I was gonna put these umbrella tables out here which I do like them I wouldn't mind using them in the black swatch but it, later on I end up using the same tables that I use on the balcony to kind of make it cohesive but there's places to sit down out here and like I said I put the street performing thing out there so you can hire like a violinist and sit outside and have a drink I thought that was like super classy and really pretty <laughs> I was very proud of that um, and you may notice here on the front of the building I do have street lights and I wasn't really thinking about it that there's already street lights on the road and so when I was taking screenshots originally, I was like, there's like, we're doubled up on the street lights. It's, it looks ridiculous. So I left the ones in the back of the build alone because there's no street lights back there. But I did remove the ones in the front because it, it was kind of unnecessary, to be honest. And yeah, so right now I'm just sort of picking out the tables that I want to go on the balconies. And I go for ones that I think they look fancy, but a little bit rustic. And that's kind of the design I went with with the entire build. At this point, I still really wasn't sure the, how I was going to decorate necessarily. But um, once I think I started with the bathroom area, I think is where I was like, okay, I know exactly how I want this place to look. And it just kind of all came together. And I'm very happy about it. So I hope you guys do like it too. Um, and right now I do have 
those heaters that came with dine out here on the, the balcony and I thought that'd be kind of a good idea if it was winter and your sims wanted to sit outside because I assume that those will warm your sims I hope because they did anyways right your sims would get like a mood lit from like the cozy cozy warmth from I, they, they get some sort of a mood lit from it right I think they do um so I assume that if it's cold outside they make your sims warm but anyways I didn't keep them in the end is the whole point of my story because they are so stark white they stood out too much and I felt like they took away from the build I didn't want them to be like an eye-catching thing I wanted them to blend in and kind of just be nice for your sims to have around and so I got rid of them you can place them if you want to have them um, if you download this but yeah not that important and then I do put a few benches around just so Sims have places to sit. We could pretend they're gonna wait for the bus or something fun like that. And lots of tables on the exterior. Sims probably won't really use the balconies because there's not too much of a reason to go out here. But if you're on a date and you want your Sims to have somewhere quiet to go sit, and I think I put some speakers on the balcony, not the ones that I originally placed right now because those ones just play I, random music. And I think I end up putting ones that play jazz outside I think that's what I did and I thought the jazz made sense because this is originally like a jazzy type club but um yeah I did make some changes after I finished recording I had noticed because okay I'm gonna tell you guys a secret <laughs> it's not it's not gonna have to be a secret but I already started renovating the gym next door so expect to see that sometime soon it's turning out so nice um but I started adding window like flower boxes on the windows in that build and I was like oh I should have done that on uh, the blue velvet too so I went back and added some flower boxes at the end and so you'll see that in the screenshots you won't see it in the video but um I just thought it added a little bit to it but here I am starting off with the bathrooms and I here pretty soon I start messing with the floor tiles so here I pull out these marble ones and then I pull out this black and white and I was like oh I was like I never use these and I think this is like the most appropriate place to use that type of flooring so I'm very happy about it I mean it's probably not that big of a deal to you guys but I don't think I have ever used this flooring in a build and I see people use it and I'm like oh man that is so like classy and it just looks really pretty and sophisticated and I was like you know what I'm gonna use it in this build and I'll make it work and I very pleased with the way it turned out I also used a lot of vintage glamour stuff in this build and that's something I should probably talk about or mention to you guys this is a base game uh, community lot but I didn't limit myself to base game as you probably can tell already I wanted to see what I could do with a community lot that was decorated with just base game because that's what it came with and see what I could do with all of the packs that we have got so far and kind of just really go all out but I didn't want to overly clutter up the place I still wanted it to be usable for people to download so it's not like it has a bunch of stuff in every little nook and cranny and it's super cluttered up but I wanted it to be really usable and pretty and I'm, I'm very happy with it so definitely let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys think the renovation is an improvement to the old build and here I am moving the bar so I think this is a better location for the bar because originally like I said it was in that back hallway and I end up putting another set of bathrooms back there because I feel like that's more of a bathroom area so there's the two bathrooms upstairs the two bathrooms downstairs as you probably saw I like copied over the rooms which that tool that tool is so helpful <laughs> um but uh, yeah, I thought that was more of a usable space than I have, just kind of like a hallway. I think there's a closet in there, and it might be a little bit weird to have a closet in a community lot, but I tend to try to place those as much as I can because your sims can woohoo in them, and that way if you have to do any public woohooing, then it's available. So that's why the closet's there in case you're wondering. And right now I'm just putting some signs up on the walls so your sims can see what the specials are or, you know, whatever is on the menu. And something that I think I did off camera as well is I switched out the front and side doors to match the ones that are on the balcony. The smaller, not double tile, actually, are they double? I think they're double tile. The front door is a double tile and then it's like a single tile one on the patios. Does that make sense? I sound, that sounds a bit confusing. But I switched out the door for those. You'll see those in the screenshots too. It just looked a bit off balance to the windows and that's why I changed it. Just kind of a last minute decision and I think it is an improvement. As you can see right here it does look a little bit unbalanced and at this point I was like you know what? it's not that big of a deal. I don't think I really need to change it but as I was like looking at it from a distance after recording I was like yeah I need to change it. It'll bother me. So it just was unbalanced and I didn't like it. Um, but I do really like the way this bar area turns out and I do have some lights that I hang in a little while and the lighting in this lot was very 
glowy and a lot of my sims that were sitting at the bar they were like hard to see there was so much light on their faces and I even took all the lights out of the room and it barely fixed it so I removed most of the lights in this build and just put a few throughout so it's kind of a more dimly lit lot but I also add some skylights on the roof which brings in some natural light so I think that helps a little bit I tried to make it look as best as I can and I think it did improve but it was like they were they, it was like they were glowing. They had so much light on their faces. They looked ridiculous. So I tried to make it work. Hopefully, if you download this, um, they won't be so lit up. <laughs> they will like, look like they were like their skin was going to melt off because there was so much light on them. Um, but right now, I am picking out the exterior sign. And originally, I pulled out... Oh, I think I left it on there, but it was that one that's a little bit more colorful. And I ended up going for the black and white one later on because I thought it suited the rest of the build. And over here, I was pretty indecisive about that dining area. And at this point, I wasn't sure if I wanted to have a piano. I mean, I was pretty sure I did, but I didn't know how I wanted it to look. But I think it all looks really nice in the end. It's kind of, it looks classy. <laughs> um, that's what I was trying to go for. And then this upstairs balcony area, I just add some pictures on the wall, some dartboards, and tried to make the place look a little bit, I don't know, kind of unique. I, I think it I think it looks pretty realistic like I could imagine this place would exist in real life I ended up moving one of the dartboards over to the other side of the room that way oh here's the here's the sign I ended up going with it's black and white one I think it was originally on the back of the building I thought that one worked a lot better and yeah so I have these two kind of platform areas the one over by the stairs and then this one so they have the don't wake the llama the foosball and then just lots of decorations on the walls different pictures and mirrors and kind of clutter and stuff and tried to just make it look did try to make it look nice and I ended up switching out some pictures in the bathroom just wasn't really sure about the the ones with the purple I felt like was too much like the old build where it was trying to be more it was such, like, a lot more of a colorful build and I felt like the ones I switched them out for suited my style of build a little bit better or at least the style I was going for so I don't know if that makes sense or if it's important but that's why I switched those out and yeah, I'm not really sure what else I should say about this build. Um, I did have a lot of fun taking my sim to visit this lot, and I'm very excited to share the next build with you guys, the one that I was talking about when I, I'm reinventing, renovating the gym next door. What is that one called? Movers and Shakers, I think. Right? Is that what it's called? It's something silly like that. Um, but I'm turning it into... Well, it's still a gym, but it has like a yoga studio in there, and I'm very excited about that. It looks really nice, and yeah. I've been having a lot of fun. I actually built another community lot that I still have to make sure it's finished and, uh, you know, take the screenshots and edit all the footage and stuff. But that one is a restaurant and I haven't built a restaurant in a long time. Well, it's been a little while. I think the last one I did was the one in Brindleton Bay. What did I call that one? Salty's Crab Shack, I think. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to branch out a little bit. I want to do more community lots. And yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing me renovate more of these EA lots, definitely let me know. I think it'd be a fun series to do. Like it could be any of them. I'm not sure if I would re, you know, renovate every single lot from EA, but some of them I think could be pretty cool. They're just not decorated the way I would decorate them. Um, so yeah, some houses, some community lots, whatever. I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think. Definitely would love to hear. Um, and what else did I want to mention? Not exactly sure. <laughs> it's, it's not like talking to a house because I'm kind of, or talking about a house because I'm kind of all over the place just jumping around from different, different places of the build and yeah, it's a little bit more difficult. Oh, I, for a second there, I was like, do I change that door on the camera? I could swore I did it afterwards, but yes, I do do that afterwards. And the skylights are so pretty. It actually took me a little while to figure it out because something I noticed with these builds by EA, I don't know if it's all of them or just these ones from base game, they have no ceiling on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they have no ceiling. So you actually have to build the roof and then you can create a skylight. So if you're ever trying to add a skylight to any of these builds and you're like, why isn't it working? Cause it has a roof because of that like flat floor text, flat floor tool that you can use. You would think it would create a roof, but it actually blocks the skylight from being see-through. That's probably confusing. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be confusing. Um, but yeah, so it just took me a little bit to get it to work. And 
I also wanted to add some lights back here, but these ones are they're a little bit too low to the ground so they didn't look quite right so I didn't really mess with it too much but that's something you could definitely add if you would like to mess around with it but right now I'm just adding the dining tables outside and I did hire a violinist when I was play testing this and that was really cool so I thought it was it was kind of sweet but the poor thing it was like a heat wave and it was like it was such a heat wave that in the game the air was like wavy and I was like, oh my god, this poor violinist. I just wanted to see how it worked, but she didn't drop dead or anything. She was, she survived. She was, but she was a trooper. <laughs> I, felt, I felt bad though, because I'm like, man, if, this, if the air is wavy, it is hot. Um, speaking of heat, it hasn't been too bad here. I mean, I've been, I've been inside quite a bit, I guess, so it hasn't been that bad for me. But I have pulled some weeds recently and definitely noticed the heat then, but um... I have my fan on, fans on again today, but last video that I had a bunch of fans on, you guys didn't say that you could hear them or it was a problem or anything, so hopefully it's not a problem again in this video. Um, but right now I am just adding some decoration to the balcony areas. Oh, and I found this statue that has like the plate. I went and put that by the front door and I thought that was pretty cool. But I sort of shuffle things around and tried to just get them to look exactly how I wanted them to. But I had a lot of fun just placing kind of these fancier paintings and making them I don't know exactly that look that I was going for but tried to collage them I don't know if that's the right word but I tried to kind of put them in random spots on the walls I mean I tried to make it look orderly but I wanted it to kind of look random at the same time so yeah that's what I did and here I am adding a giant pillar that goes up and I think it really balanced out this corner for me because I was kind of struggling with what to do in that area where I'm putting the piano and I think that pillar just kind of it just worked and made sense at least for me so I'm very very happy about that and originally I do place the dance floor here instead of doing the checkered floor pattern um, you know just the regular flooring but it was a bit strange when I started to play test it. The Sims were just dancing on it and it, it wasn't having the effect I wanted it to have. So yeah, that will be changed in the end and I think it looks a lot better and yeah. I can't remember if I did that on camera or off camera though and I think the only other thing I did off camera and I apologize that there's so many things in this build that I did off camera. They're subtle things though. Um, but I added some couches because I realized that with a lounge you need to have a love seat. So I added it to love seats over here by the staircase. So you'll see that in the screenshots. They're actually just the ones from um, Vampires, one of the green ones. And I thought they looked pretty cool and they looked kind of old. And I guess it's a, is it eclectic? Is that the word I'm looking for for the design of this build? classy eclectic is that a thing I'm not really sure but um yeah I thought they looked pretty interesting and you unique anyways and I kind of struggled with the fountain back here a little bit but I ended up going with this one which is originally the same one that it had just in a different color so maybe they painted it or something but yeah, I think it looks really nice and I did think about adding pictures all the way up the walls of that like grand area in the center but I decided not to in the end because I thought it would just look a little bit silly like how they hang those up there that you get like a giant ladder or something and I thought it just looked a little bit better keeping it down to one level I didn't want it to be like too busy I wanted it to be a little bit um have a little bit more structure to it I guess and then here in a little bit, you'll notice that there are people everywhere because this is when I started to play test it. And so I do make some of the changes um, before we get to the screenshots. So here I am. Oh, I do show it. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember what was included. So I did change out the floor and I think this looks a lot better. Um, I think it looks a lot nicer. And then you can, Sims can sit around, listen to the piano, have like a nice date and I, I think that's kind of special. And then here I am adding the skylights. So I did have to um, build a roof and then delete the flooring that was placed up here. So it was a bit weird. So it's kind of hard to explain and probably doesn't really make any sense. But I was able to get skylights. So if you are trying to add skylights on these builds, just, just build a roof, delete the floor it'll be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, it brings in a lot of natural light since I ended up deleting so many of the lights later on. And I do replace those lightings for just a chandelier. And I think that looks pretty classy and really pretty. And yeah, just very happy with the way this build turned out. So I hope you guys do like it too. I included screenshots of um, the build before and the build after. So if you guys like that, let me know because, um, 
yeah, I can definitely include that if anytime I do like a renovation. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know if you guys would like to see more of these and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!